long time since I've done a video just gonna do a little short thing yeah uh, I got myself uh, a new laser it uh, cuts 3 mil ply so I cut this out what I got done it for is you know um, well let's look at that Till out yeah so uh, I get my uh, uh, little Arduinos and things, and I, I get them without the uh, without the um, headers fitted. Uh, and when I fit them, I, I want them to to line up really nice and straight and what have you. Um, so I uh, I usually st stuck them in an old uh, socket, but I decided to make this. Uh, this is so I can line line all the sockets up. It holds it, and because it's made of wood, it's not going to sort of uh, melt and everything like uh, it did when I. Well, what I used was I used to use one 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 of the, one of these uh, breadboards, but I end up melting them. <laughs> so I wanted something different. So this is what I've made. Um, and so if you're doing small stuff like this, small stuff, you can just stick your headers in in the slot. And I've made one, uh, I've got this little header, I've pushed the pins all the way through so the pins don't come out at the top because if, if I've, there's nothing, nothing on this side uh, but all the headers are on the front. So what I do is uh, you can stick this anywhere, and it, it'll bring the board to the uh, the right height. So uh, basically, it holds everything straight. I don't know if we can see that. Uh, let's see, get it the right way. There. Well, I'll put my finger on, and then you can you can see. It's holding it all square and level, uh, and, and, and basically that's. I thought it's quite a nice little thing. So let's just. Uh, do, I'm just going to put these headers on this uh, little nano, uh, but you can see that they're they're all held s s square, and like I say the pins are clear because I've put these uh, little stand off, so we can see that there and uh, do a bit of soldering <laughs> not much of a video is it really I just wanted to show off my little bit of laser work and maybe you see how I tend to do my if you're wondering what this is it's all solder but you know you get uh, lots of flux on your solder uh, on, on your on your soldering iron and because this 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 solder's uh, a flux core, sometimes you might need an extra bit of co uh, flux to go through. You end up building up the uh, the amount of uh, solder on there. And I, I just use that. You get a nice build up, but all you have to do is touch it, and you've just got it cleaned. So, and you can start with some nice fresh solder with some flux on. Yeah, this is the first time I've used this board, so let's just hope it all turns out right. So do both ends first. Make sure there's enough heat in there for the uh, the pin to warm up as well when you're soldering these. Um, if you don't, if you don't just uh, get enough heat in there, uh, then you're only going to solder the top top part of the pin and. You want the solder to go all the way through, so I, I don't tend to uh, have a very hot iron. I say not a very hot iron, but obviously it melts solder. But I only have it about uh, at, th at 300 degrees C, and and um, I, like I say, I use the, the 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 pointy pointy tip, and because it's got a a pointy tip uh, the heat 
disappears off this straight away, you know, sort of thing. So, so what I tend to do is uh, just go down. Once you see it start to flow, you know you've got it. Get much on. Let me get all that in shot. Yeah, I have. I'm thinking that I might do a nice little instructor, but that's the reason I'm doing a video as well. Just a. Well, it's nothing really. It's just, just three bits of wood. <laughs> but what can you make of that? It's a nice, easy tool. And I'm sure somebody will want the files. They might find it handy as well if they've got a, a laser for cutting uh, three mil plywood. I suppose you could convert the files into, well, actually, I was going to say 3D print them, but no, the whole point is that it doesn't melt away. <laughs> now, when I'm doing quite a few. Uh, uh, quite a long header. You need a fair bit of heat in, into uh, a PCB like this. And so I tend to go through, just go down each one and get the majority of the uh, the pin uh, soldered and fluxed. Um, and what I'll do is I'll go over it again because I like it right nice. Neat looking job myself, you know bit of a nitpicker. I like to uh, have things looking really good. So I'll just go down this side. Like I say, when you put your solder on, you want to try and get it onto the pin, because it's the pin you need to heat up. Like so. Well, the, the the, the pretty cheap uh, Chinese uh, headers that are made of steel and so uh, you need to get a bit more heat in there, not like the uh, the brass and copper pins so uh, yep, I'll just keep going Then once I've got all these things, I'll just show you the trick. What I do is I tend to put quite a lot of uh, solder on there, so it goes quite thick, quite heavy, and you get a lot of heat in there. And uh, it ensures that you get it all the way through. If you've got the solder all the way through, um, then you, you, the, the pins are going to be a, a stronger fit. Starting to rub it on now. Hopefully, my voice keeps. We'll keep the mic down so that uh, it's, you can't hear the music, and uh, YouTube then sort of, sort of gives me uh, a warning for what music I've got playing. <laughs> right, yeah. What I tend to do is uh, once I've done that, is I sort of start at the top have it sloping down and I just generally move between two pins and then I just work my way down and all the excess solder follows you with the iron as you go down Because it, yeah, and you know you've got it because it, it, it runs quite nice and gets quite runny. You can see how it's sort of building up, but that's because I've only just got enough now on the pins. And that. It's 
just work my way down to the end. It's just got some nitpicking. Oh, I didn't mean to go over that at all. <laughs> That's a silly thing to do, but it doesn't really matter. Then I'll do the same down the other side. But having this uh, piece of wood, it does not, does not have to make things a lot easier to hold everything in the right place. Like you say, tool for every job. Once I get myself work down to the end. Yeah, just make sure you don't leave any bridge to you there. Yeah. See if I can not fill that hole up this time. There we go. There. Big blob. Touch. Clean again. Well. Now to see how well my board did. So it's pretty damn hot is that now and yeah. Well the slight staining, yes, it's sweated a little bit. Uh, you can see that I don't know if you can see that, but it has sweated a little. So I'll just leave it in ow, 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 ow. Leave it in there to cool down. And I'll call it that. Just hope you like my little Gadget. Have I pressed the right button? Nope. 